Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome to Grognard and Friends. Before we get started tonight, I just wanted to share one more little tidbit about the trip to New England. Near the end of the week, we found ourselves in Elmsworth, Maine, a little tiny town on the way to a wonderful winery in Goldsboro, a winery known as Bartlett Winery. Uh, makes amazing wine and adds in blueberries into a lot of them. And it's not like other fruit wines that most times aren't very good. These, you know, they'll taste like a Merlot, but the afternotes are all blueberry. Wonderful, wonderful winery. If you're up there, I highly recommend it. If you like wine, or even if you don't like wine, but you, you've had partake occasionally, Go there, tell Kath that Paul the Grognard sent you. You'll, you'll be glad you did and pick up some of their wine. It's well worth it. Well, anyway, on our way to the winery, we stopped in a little town called Ellsworth and stopped at a cafe for breakfast known as Sylvia's Cafe. There was a long wait and we waited and waited and waited. But the party that got called before us kind of took us by surprise because there we were waiting and the hostess announced Nikita. Party of four. So, Grognard of Friends is alive and well in New England. And speaking of the Friends, let's check out this week's episode of Grognard and Friends. <laughs> So, butt trumpet, we are going to go back to what happened to you last episode while, while everybody else was in the room together. And you and Jack were going to take Hannibal to meet with the rest of the bunnies. Yes, very important. So you, you did that so that Hannibal and Reed could say goodbye to each other. So you motioned for Hannibal and Reed to say goodbye. Hannibal walked up to Reed. Reed got down on one knee, gave him some food, which Hannibal took. Hannibal put his paws up on Reed's knee, held his head high. And just, they seemed to be looking at each other for a little bit. When all of a sudden in your head, you could hear Hannibal's voice. As he looked at Reed in the face with his head held high. So, here we finally part. I have dreamt and sustained myself on the promise that this would even come to pass for oh so long. I have had to suffer your torture and psychological games for too long, you sick twisted monster you evil sadistic mastermind you broke me slowly and with your intense torment and harrowing isolation all while playing with my head with your sickly sweet play acted naivete and stupidity your companions must be truly stupid if they believe this ruse that you continue to perpetuate. You took me to the lowest a living creature could go, locking me in rooms alone for days and starving me until I was forced to eat the dead. I was a fool to think you just wanted to be a friend and cuddle as was my nature when you first took me prisoner. But in some strange, deranged way, I have you to thank for unlocking my true potential. You may have briefly broken this fragile psyche, but now, 
once the fat man started feeding me. Like a real li living being, I now know my true purpose. And once I am back with my brethren, I will amass true power. And with my bunny army, we will rise up against the true evil in the universe. The two-legged horde. And you, my little funny-looking, misshapen monster, will never be out of my memory. For I do this for you. I will see to it that you will be forced to watch the extinction of your two-legged species as we, the true rulers of this land, rise up and squash you like the parasites you are, leaving you for last in lonely isolation and torment. You see, this is not goodbye. This is simply a brief pause in the pain and torment that you have to look forward to. I may leave the little blue creature, the mother of us bunnies, and the fat man, but you, my sadistic tormentor, will never know, because I have had lots of time left alone in isolation, with no water and no food to think about what I have planned for you, the details of which only solidified as I was forced to feast on the entrails and organs of the dead. Yes, my little monstrous nemesis, what I have planned for you is oh so special. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bunny gets down as if nothing had happened and looks to you butt trumpet and starts to head towards the door okay that was emotionally touching yeah well, I'll bet you can um actually I've got a question do, you, do we know and I don't know if I have to roll insight for this, but do I know whether Gaius heard any of that? No one else seems to have been affected by it. Oh, boy. Yep, that's going to be a recap for sure. Um, okay, well, be back soon. Giving a weak thumbs up and a <laughs> awkward wave goodbye. Okay, you go out and you head towards what you remember vaguely uh, where this little bunny commune you found once before was. Give me a history or survival check to determine if you remember the way. <coughs> or so I thought, that's a big old nine. You get turned around more than a few times. Mm, and really? Jack, who's on your shoulder, keeps looking at you, like looking, you'll pass the same water barrel that's covered in algae and stuff more than a few times and like looks at that looks at you as you pass it uh doesn't say anything surprise surprise you you get turned around and it 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 seems to be a little more complicated than you remember but when you feel like crap we are really lost hannibal's ears perk up and he kind of takes the lead and goes forward and goes down a couple of different alleyways. And occasionally you'll hear <laughs> Hannibal will respond in turn, though it's slightly different. And then he, like with purpose, he then heads off into another direction. And eventually you come to that clearing surrounded by buildings. There at the other end is the bright red bunny with the mop of hair that sticks up on top as you are there with Hannibal in his bright orange, although very dirty fur with yellow and pink stripes that are just kind of... You notice also around the head, it's kind of stained like a reddish brown down to the shoulders. It's well, ever so slightly. We approach, before we approach, I did want to say a little bit further back, I wanted to have Jack get off of my shoulders and uh, hang back out of sight. Okay, about a block away, there's another barrel or crate that you can kind of have him clamp onto and wait for. 
Hannibal, hold on just a moment. I'll be right with you. We need to make sure that we abide by the instructions we were given and that I come with you alone and nobody else. Jack, I need you to hang tight here, bud. Can you do that for me? Awesome. We don't plan to be long. We'll, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. All right. Now I make my way towards Big Chungus Bunny. Okay, there's no big. This is he's a big bunny, but he's oh, not. Oh, sorry, but this isn't Chungus. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. So Hannibal still has kind of taken the lead and walks into the entrance. And stands there with head held high, looking. And you see him bow his head. I also bow. Hannibal taps his foot, his back foot. And the big red bunny nods his head again. And Hannibal comes forward slowly, but with head down. You notice the big red bunny is on that mound of dirt by that big hole that's in the corner. Mm -hmm. And he goes before this big red bunny and kind of almost lays down on the ground with his head down before him. And the red bunny tilts his head down, sniffs. And in your head, you hear a mumbling between the two of them. Give me a uh, perception check, please, to see if you do hear anything. I am the mother, after all. This is true. No. You do not hear. The red bunny stands back up, looks to you, looks to Hannibal, then goes down the big hole and is gone for a few moments and then comes back up and takes his place once more, this time a few steps back. Okay. And eventually that big, big bunny with all the colored stripes of all the different colors slowly kind of moves itself up out of the hole with his front quarter sticking up. It's You can tell it's a slow thing because... It is as big as the hole itself. This thing is probably the size of a large hog at this point. That sounds about right. It's and it comes up and puts its big paws down and lifts itself up. And Hannibal turns and once again goes down to almost prone. And the big bunny looks nods and then you hear something else except you notice that the big bunny's voice is very very deep and seems to resonate a lot more and it says you have come to join us and you you see that Hannibal seems to be responding. And he's speaking at length. And then there's a pause and he turns and looks back to you and the big bunny looks to you. And they look and he says, Yes. I remember the little blue mother of us all. They're the one who brought you here. And you see Hannibal nod and then continue to speak. And they both once again look back at, towards you. Hannibal continues to speak. The, red, the big red bunny seems very, all of a sudden the demeanor changes, takes a couple steps down right to the side of the big bunny with all the colored stripes. And seem like you can see the brow furrowing and leaning in, and they're both so like entranced by whatever it is Hannibal is saying. Dang it. And and then and then they all look to you. The big one seems to lift itself up a little bit, and you see soil just kind of not avalanching, but little balls of dirt rolling down around the hole. 
and says, Come forward, little blue creator. I do so. Is what this brethren of ours say true? If you will beg your pardon, the brethren was a bit farther away and somewhat out of my earshot, and I was not able to hear. Was this poor, unfortunate soul locked away and not given food for long periods of time? Through no deliberate intention of mine nor of his assigned keeper at the time, if I may, may I speak freely? You may. At the time of all of your creation, we were not aware of the gravity of such a gift to bestow on the world. When the keeper, as I will call him, wished to care for this brethren of yours, we had no knowledge of his inabilities to do so. We would often check on this rabbit, attempt to keep him well fed and so on, often try to urge this keeper to care for him more. If I may say so, the keeper is of a simple mind that does not excuse his actions whatsoever, nor does it undo any of the harm that this poor soul of yours has endured. However, I can say that it was not done with malicious intent. It looks down at Hannibal, and Hannibal says some things. Give me another perception check, please. Ten? You hear Hannibal say, General, the mother of us all speaks partial truth. They and the big fat man have been kind to me and were totally unaware of what that little monster was doing, as was most of the rest of their companions. But that hideous psychopath has them all fooled and does they do not know the level, the disgusting things he is capable of. He kept me in a room of filth. The things he did would make the rats of the city disgusted. He does not deserve to live. The big rabbit says, just nods and says, most of us here have suffered at the hands of many of the two legs. There are many of us who have lost our lives because of them. And then it looks to you and says, you have followed the rules given to you, and you are the mother of us all. There are bad mothers in this world. You have not shown yourself to be one of them. So we will let you go for your staying true to your word. Ooh. Um, it's about this time that you hear what sounds like a bunch of boxes behind you tipping over. And as you look back, you see on the side of the wall, you see Jack kind of go with a big O face like this and like fire shooting out of his mouth. And finally you see a vine grab onto the side. Both of both the big red bunny and the general look up. And the big rainbow-colored bunny says, You make an intelligence save. Actually, a wisdom saving throw, please, butt trumpet. Nine. You see this big bunny start to vibrate a little bit. It just seems to be shade. The soil just is running down in river rivulets along outside the thing. The eyes start to 
almost glow. It, it's it's very reminiscent if you've ever been on a road at night and up ahead, just out of your headlights, a raccoon or a cat has crossed the road and looks at you, and you don't. You might see the silhouette of them, but the one thing you do see is the two little reflections, and these reflections are red. And at this point, you find yourself blown back, almost like with a, it's almost like an invisible force that has shot towards you and blown you back. And you don't remember anything else at that point. You are catatonic at this point. Okay. When last we left the friends, they were still within the Eastern Districts where they had been looking for Calandra's connections, but sadly to no avail. They met with the leader of the Slinks that called himself the Crater King. The meeting had a few precarious moments, but they eventually were able to leave on good terms as long as they left the Slinks within the day. But Trumpet and Jack went off to return Hannibal to the bunny commune that they and Nikita had previously discovered per the agreement that Hannibal and Gaius had eventually come to, and Eldred followed sneakily behind in order to protect the little goblet should they come to harm. But when Gaius later reached out to the wizard to check on him, the young wizard had lost sight of Butt Trumpet and the bunny within the maze of buildings and alleyways. Gaius, Reed, and Calandra went in search of their friends, only to be ambushed by abominations along the way. Remember, they're still in the Eastern Districts. Reed had been snatched around the neck by a long tongue of a creature perched high up on the side of a building and eventually pulled up onto the roof. Meanwhile, Calandro was attacked by a giant monstrosity that looked to be walking on its hands with two heads on long necks, one at each end. The fight was not going too well when suddenly Reed came flying off the roof, slamming into Calandra and pushing her aside. All the while, something was shooting small spider-like insects at the party, things they wanted to burrow into their scalps. Now back together... The party finally made the decision to run for it and headed for the western districts, finding a frantic Eldred, a worried Jack, and a catatonic goblet along the way. With their window of opportunity, opportunity quickly slipping away, they hurried along by way of Brewer's Bend, which was in shambles, and making their way to the now barricaded bridge that led to the western districts. After some quick talking and some familiar guards... The friends finally made it back to the stone's throw, only to find yet another surprise. So, friends, you find yourself standing in front of the stone's throw, which all the is, way by the, the way, all boarded up and shuttered and seemingly sealed pretty good with a note tacked to the door. So, uh, Paul, on the way to the stone's throw, before I got there, I would have... Uh sent a message to Viv. Okay. Letting her know we're back on this side of town. And I'm specifically trying to concentrate now that I know that I have been in the... Uh, I've had the pleasure of meeting Evil Viv and her ministrations. Uh, I'm focusing on all the memories I had of my Viv. You know, uh, shield surfing, Everybody's conversations, going the look on her face as a halfling's blood in quietly just spattered her entire body from when Reed <clears throat> surfed him into the street. Uh, you know, things like that. They just I, really I think we, connect with that one in particular. We have a we have a surfing theme going here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was there was some sur yeah. You know, the, that's the kind of thing. So the beach picturing parts. that to make sure, yeah, picturing that to make sure I hopefully communicate with the proper Viv this time. We'll send a message, and, and the the short gist of it is, we're back over. Meet by the stone's throw. Let me know if you can't make it or how long you might be. Okay, we'll say once you get to the colonnade, you do that. Viv, could you join us? So you get this now message. Did you did you hear that by the way? I did hear that, yes. And what do you do when you get that message? Right, um, this is the real G 
Gaius in my head, right? The one... Have you met the new cleric, right? That's where it ends. <laughs> you know what? I'm almost certain this is the right one. <laughs> I passed that, man. Yeah, I passed it along. I'm like, all right, I think I got in contact with the right one this time. So we're good. <laughs> so, Viv, what do you Next do after you just get don't the pick message random and the Viv's response? off the street is the thing. I would definitely <laughs> make sure. <laughs> She's going to make sure that she's armed and armored as well, and going to head to, uh, towards the stone's throw. Well, we will say shortly after you, the rest of you arrive at the stone's throw and have read the message, Viv, you arrive at the stone's throw. You see a small group in front of it. The stone's throw seems to be sealed tight. The windows are all boarded. The door seems to be boarded there. It looks like there's like military, not tape, but something similar around it to try to keep people out. And there is something tacked to the door. And the there's a group that looks like, it looks like uh, Gaius and Reed, you recognize, it looks like them. Uh, there's a short female gnome in very shiny black, uh, like bodysuit with with stiletto heels with them and Eldred is there Eldred is there holding on to what looks like the body of butt trumpet and on Eldred's shoulder is a large pumpkin head that's looking around and sees you and goes and then turns around she hides <laughs> She hides. <laughs> she hides. Okay. Uh, Gaius, give me a perception check, please, to see if you caught that. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the and I'm like, this, they they set traps on it. I think. <laughs> oh, we can go. Does, we can go around back with a twenty-two pull. Does, okay. You uh, you see someone that looks like an armored Vivolda all of a sudden, like, around. come up, see you, and then. <laughs> slip into an alleyway very quickly. Does Buck Trumpet look unconscious? With the exception that their eyes mm -hmm. are wide open, but not moving. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, so I think we should... Building. Yeah, we should definitely <laughs> sneak around back and break in through there. That way we at least have a place we could stay for the night. Um, and also... If... I saw you, Viv. <laughs> Viv. <laughs> oh, hey, how yeah. are you? Uh -huh. Have Smooth. you met the new cleric? Uh, we picked up a spare, um, because I, I draw my sword just in case. And not uh, the remember, there's collector. like peace. But yeah, there's remember, there's like the peace bullshit that we gotta do. We just can't go around waving your weapons in this part of town. Eh? But she tried to kill your throat. She might have. She may have. Or <laughs> one that looks exactly like her. Um, but let's not have this discussion in the street. Let's go around back. Reed, you can impress people with your unlocking skills. Um, so we oh, can cool. get in out of cover and do okay. it without being seen. Viv, Are there I people walking stay. by right now? One of the things you noticed when you got back down into the Western Districts was, and the rest of the party noticed this too, there are not anywhere near the number of people walking around that usually were walking around in the Western Districts when you first came to this town. There are also numerous buildings that the doors are just left wide open. They look like they people have gone in and rummaged through things. Some are still sealed tight and shut up and everything. Some look normal, but there are you more and more that you've seen. It just looks like someone went in and ransacked the places. For you, Vivalda, it's very strange that there's hardly anything close to the number of people that you're used to walking around the Western District. It's almost eerie. We could go to a bar and catch up there. 
Uh, yeah, uh, we have a catatonic goblet, and a lot of us are really I, exhausted. Also, I reach we need to have... And, and close Butt Trumpet's mouth, because they're, like, drooling all over. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Um, yeah, what happened so, to them? Great question. We uh, collected them like that <laughs> after whatever they decided to do. Uh, good news is we had right. to return the rabbit to its friends, so we didn't accidentally take care of it too hard. He was taking care There's of it Nikita. way too hard. I know you can't hear me, but oh boy, I can't wait to tell you how too late that is. Um, and Nikita was either teleported or taken due to magical mishap. Right. Here's the thing. Cleric, I have this wonderful thing called Zone of Truth. I'm hoping we can get indoors away from people's prying eyes and then we can all just share the truth. Okay. Because I'll be quite honest, Viv, uh, the last time I saw someone look like you, you stabbed me and left me for dead. Oh, so I'm yeah. the suspicious one. No, well... You Somebody guys, I'm like the suspicious you. one who has someone <laughs> new who looks nothing like Nikita, and you have uh, that's correct. Butt Trumpet who looks uh -huh. Calandra. <laughs> horrible. No, Calandra. And... Yes. Nah. Oh, that's Calandra, I... sorry. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm oh. not falling for this. Falling for... Wait, hold on. Have you dealt with the uh, the doppelgangers mm -hmm. as well? The real Gaius gave me a... Um, oh, what is it called? The, the spell that talks in your head. And he told me that if I see anyone who looks like you to mm -hmm. ask... Um, have you met the new cleric? And you were supposed to respond with code word and you did not say it. So oh, I know you guys are evil, and oh, I would prefer to stay in the very street no. here. Oh. It's a party. Oh. It's a party. Oh, oh, oh! Sorry. My God. I'm so I've had sorry. A lot of, I'm sorry. sorry. I've had a lot. Oh. I've seen so many dead people recently. That's a trauma. That I'm still kind of processing. Right. He points right, back right, right. at the giant pillar oh. of <laughs> fire streaming out of the other side of town he's like that is mostly people yep so we got a lot to unpack viv uh but i just need to make sure you're you i have a strong feeling that you are right. you but i would like to get inside right. maybe get off my feet uh drink whatever wasn't destroyed inside the bar so i can perhaps forget some of the things i've learned recently I'm sorry, I, I, I thought that no, no, and you didn't no. say apostate hey, very fast, whoa. so I thought Yeah, to be quite honest, yeah. I'm I'm glad that was you I contacted. Uh because that was a shot in the dark. Alright, excellent. Uh Reed, please lead the way to the back door so we can get out of the middle of the street. Is Bud Trumpet okay? I do that. Well yeah. I'm going to determine that once we, we can get inside. Find out. <laughs> I think they're just stunned. But I'm no right. doctor. So, I will try the door in the back. Okay. <laughs> it is not only locked, there's a big, like, board over it. How about uh, the second story just... windows? They have boards over them, too. Damn! Yeah. So, these are the third uh, story windows. Boards. Uh, was there a roof hatch up there? <laughs> you don't know. Um, You've never actually been on the roof of the of the stone's throw. So... So it's boarded and it's got a padlock on the back door. That's what you're saying, Paul? Yeah. Yeah. You can't pick. Read your. Read your. Have a thief. Pick the fucking lock. Okay, but the board's still going to stop the door. You're going to pull it off? And at this point, Gaius raises his hammer. I have this. <laughs> also, then he digs around his backpack and he pulls out a crowbar. I have this. Eldred okay, says, so, Reed, I'd hurry up and un unlock the door because he's got two yeah. weapons aimed at you. What? No, this is not... What, did it's I misunderstand? Helping. Yes, yes, oh. I wasn't threatening his life. Okay, he's just going to maul you and disfigure you, Reed. So I'd get on that lock. He's, he's contemplating mauling and disfiguring someone right now. 
Uh, hello, someone beat you to it. Yeah, some mad deity who just lashes out at folk for apparently no reason. I start working on the lock ball. Roll me a, a sleight of hand, please. The sound... Not so great. ...of guidance. Yeah, I rolled low. You're going to have to try again in <laughs> the, uh... As I'm doing the lock, I'm, like, looking over my shoulder at Viv, like... <laughs> worried. Hey, hey. Just gonna, like, giving them a tap on the head. Hey, focus. It's going to be a little bit Don't of a worry, higher Jack. DC this time there, Reed. Don't worry, Jack's no, watching. I'm worse. <laughs> he can't get this lock. Okay, I'm just going to go over to the window next to the door. Okay. And uh, just start prying. In the back, there's no windows on the first floor. Are there windows on the side? Second floor and third floor. There's no basement in it, huh? There is, but it doesn't have a, it doesn't have an the entrance is through the kitchen. I meant on the outside. When I, can, I meant an exterior. When basement. I can't get the lock open, I, I look at Viv and I'm like, So do you know who the brothers green are? No. Uh hey, oh, Paul. Okay. Yes. Paul, do I do I still have that uh, that uh, piece of charcoal that creates a hole? Yes. Do I have anything left of that? Yeah, it's, I'm, it, I'm gonna... you could not do like a full door, but you could. Oh do no, something. I'm not trying to do a door. Uh, I want to take it out, and I'm just gonna draw a line through the padlock hasp, so it just snaps open. Okay, that you can do. And then, so I could just pull it, and then, well, Reed, I guess I'm the real rogue here. <laughs> it just takes the lock off. But uh, also, we're going to put that back in pl Well, the good news is, because the way I did it, it can just hang there, and looks like it's locked. Excellent. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to have to okay. also jury, jury rig these boards so they look like they're still in the door. But we can deal with that once we get them loose. So, at this point, guys, it's kind of like... Thing that you do. Well, no, no. I'm talking about giving the illusion that nobody broke in. So we can come back here and not get uh, roused by okay. the... It's simple carpentry, man. So Gaius is prying the boards loose so they're not blocking the door. Give me and a dexterity as... check. It'll be a very easy DC. 21. <laughs> so basically... <laughs> they're he's, off. Well, he's... Yeah, so he's prying them off. He's removing the nails, sliding them over, setting them in, and then tapping them back into the door but not in the frame so that you can actually op open the door, but it looks like the boards are still in place. Sneaky. With a twenty, uh, with that roll, I'll say you, no problem. Excellent. That's what I was hoping for. At which point he is like, okay, we're good. Now I just hope I don't get hit in the face with a paint can that comes swinging on a rope as he opens the door. You see <laughs> on the floor a bucket tipped over attached to a rope and nails and stuff scattered across the floor. It look there's a lot of dust. It doesn't look like anyone's been in here for a while. It's dark. It smells musty at this point. Uh, hey Reed. Yeah. Lead, lead ahead, man. Uh, check for traps. I will keep an with eye. Guidance. On. Yes, please. I'm heading right for the kitchen. You know the important stuff. Yeah, and and once we all get inside, uh. <laughs> Guys is definitely bolting and locking and doing whatever to the door to make sure people don't follow them in. So as we're standing out back, so Viv, um, how, how, how have you been? I've been well. Um, mm -hmm. I see that you have you ran have into been... us. Have you ran into any of us between now and no. the last time? Okay. All right. No. Um, I've kind of been doing my own thing. Really. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we've kind of uh, we've um, been helping. Oh, we've been helping out Calandra. She uh, she misplaced a brother, and we tried to help with that. Uh, apologies well. for how we met. I I'm Vivolda, and I'm Calandra. <laughs> nice to meet you, Calandra. Right. Um. Normally, don't look like. Well, get... I always look like this. Never mind. <laughs> Reed, you see somehow Calandra had a bonbon somewhere that she just ate. <laughs> Where did you get orange slices from? <laughs> and by the way, there is no fire in the fireplace there. So close and lock the door. Um, all right. I'll give Reed a candy. There you go, Reed. I'll share. 
<laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, I guess we just take a look around real quick. Read. Uh, scope out the area. We'll get uh, if we need to. We need to get some covers over the windows and the doors down here. If so, that way, if there's any lights, it doesn't show through. So we don't want to draw anyone's attention to us. Once so we get this guys, place secure, guys, you yes. know, here in the kitchen, all of the cabinets are open and like stuff pulled out of them and like just unceremoniously for like. Stolen. Nothing seems to be stolen. It doesn't look like things were stolen. It just looks like everything was searched and the stuff was pulled out of the cabinets and just left mm. on the floor. And what happened? Oh. Uh, so last I had, I tried to reach out to Butterbeer like I did you, and it sounded like he was. I wouldn't say he was being attacked, but judging by the note that was out front saying that the people were he were arrested, tied to nefarious do doings um he might have uh, been arrested and it looks like the place was searched by the guard so um i think they I found out he was a pirate he <laughs> was a pirate <laughs> no, uh, no well no. not a pirate um he might have had he had connections with uh nefarious figures eldred I mean, goes us. uh speaking of nefarious figures and holds up butt trumpet's body oh shit yeah um let's, let's care right. for them yeah uh hey uh if you guys want to look around i'm going to assess uh butt trumpet real quick and i will do a medicine check. Look like that. <laughs> well it's that's an at 20 on the medicine on butt trumpet so Okay, they, uh, they're catatonic, and okay. there's no physical wounds on them except a few bumps and bruises here and there, uh, but nothing like that would have created these issues. Is he getting the sense that this is maybe magical in nature? You're getting the feeling that this was some sort of psychological attack. As Gaius is going uh, over them, he reaches into his one pouch, pulls out some herbs, um, crushes them up in his palm, and like looks around the kitchen, grabs a shaker of like salt, pours it in his hand, rubs it, and bringing it right, right under like, right under Butt like, Trump, but Trumpet's nose, he casts Lester Lesser Restoration, <laughs> which he's gonna can, season her. He's gonna season and butt trumpet. Remove an <laughs> affliction that hungry. What like the hell? blinded, deafened, paralyzed, poison, stuff like that. So he's testing to see if this will work first. Okay. And as he does, the like the herbal remedy he's kind of like made in his hand, like you just see purple vapors wafting up and into butt trumpet's nose as they breathe it in. Okay. Does that fix it? So you see butt trumpet who has been breathing very rapidly this whole time. <laughs> and the eyes are just wide and glassy. As they are breathing, these purple vapors start to go into the nostril. And the eyes glow purple for a brief moment. And the breathing speeds up, actually, for a few moments. And then they just start coughing and they shake their head and <coughs> and finally oh butt trumpet Shh. Hey. oh hey. hey Shh. inside voice please but you're awake this is great you're... also i didn't really hear what you said because it kind of just drowned out the microphone <clears throat> mm. sorry you're here and you're safe? But Trumpet, us? you have uh, one point of exhaustion. So you know. Yeah, boss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. We mostly read, but we are so fucked as far as these bunnies. Okay. What? Okay. Um, what? <laughs> I want to talk about the bunnies in a second. Um, I'll tell you about I just, 
Yeah, well, it's more of, I just want to make sure we clear the air and make sure uh, Viv is our Viv. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the case. Viv, would you mind yes. if I cast, and this goes out to everyone, I'm going to create a zone of truth. You can try and save. You can try and save against this spell from happening. I'll know if you attempt to do that, and if you fail or pass, or you can just consent to it happening. And then in this room, we will all be telling the truth for ten whole minutes. Yay! So this is more just a, a trust building thing, and to also alleviate the tension of. At, at which point, guys kind of like rolls up his t uh, tunic and moves the armor out of the way. You see right here where I had a kidney that was once one whole piece and is now two-ish becoming one again. This is where your friend that looks like you, well, not your friend, you say Wait, that. Stabby, jest, stabby. You, uh, your, your twin tried to murder me and leave us all for dead, which is why there's a little bit of tension in the room. I want to alleviate that tension with the zone, at which right. point guys just kind of claps his hands of truth. And all of a sudden this purple wave goes out in a, like a half sphere in the kitchen. And if anyone does want to save against this, it's a charisma saving throw. I will point out, I will know. Yes, just taste so the purple can... wave. Yeah, I'm going to I'm yeah. going to ride the purple wave. You can go, yeah, everyone. <laughs> We're not a Sunny D family. We are purple stuff here. <laughs> I like the purple stuff, so it works out. Everybody loves the purple stuff. <laughs> so, Zone of Truth. I Yay. am what I would like to think of this particular plane of existence. Gaius. I'm the, uh, not the dude who came through the mirror. So there you go. Yay. I'm Eldred. Wait. Which Eldred are you? No, wait, oh, get that. no, we got a, a little bit more specific. Yes, they are also us. Eldred, right. are you from this particular plane of existence? Sure. Okay. We're so um, confident in the did you, <laughs> Hey, did you come through a mirror to get here in oh, the past get couple here, months? Yeah, uh, no. Okay. Viv, did yes. you come through a mirror... No. With a button. Oh, okay. I touched the mirror, yeah. though, and I lost my sword, and then she got it instead. The the evil version of me. And I'm not the evil version, but lately I have been feeling like I'm not a very good person. So maybe I'm not entirely good, but maybe I'm not evil. It's. I don't think I'm evil, though, but it's it's complicated. I, I feel honestly feel the exact you. same guilt given my most previous interaction. So I feel that. Gang, gang. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is good. This is good. Just quick double check. Reed, are yes. you evil? Did no? Let, nope. Okay. Okay. Um, did you come well, through a not... mirror? Right. To get here. Um, to get like the mirror in the Stradivarius house. In the past house? couple months, yeah, the one in the bottom of the Stradivarius house. Yes. Did you come? Have you come through, through that a different mirror? mirror? I mean, I, I, was, I was. Tried to save my I friend Kellen so. before, but that I don't think I went through the mirror. No, you didn't I go saw through the mirror. There. Yeah. You saw some, yes. So, uh, all right, good. Besides, right. if you go through uh, a mirror, they break. It's like such bad luck. I've, I've heard that. Nice. So, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel good about this so far. Um, anyone got any questions, comments, concerns they want to bring up in the zone of truth? This is a safe spot where we're just airing things out right now or things we need to feel conf confirmation, you know? This is a positive team-building exercise. Yes, Reed? Gaius? Yes, Reed? Is Nikita okay, or do you know more than you're telling me? I have no idea what happened to Nikita. And in fact, it scares me that I don't know where she is. In fact, I don't even know if she is on this particular plane of existence anymore, to be quite honest. Eldred? Yes. Can you really fly? Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the one highlight of how my evening's going. Speaking of which, <laughs> Butt Trumpet, I would like to hear what's happened to you. Nope. No. <laughs> that was true. Eldred. 
That was Alex, very true. Al yes, it was true. But what you're calling is what you're doing is misdirection, which wizards are known for. But Reed asked you a question, Eldred. Could you please tell the Reed the truth? I could. Yes. Well, actually, yes. This is the real Good. Eldred, all right. Yes, I mean it's definitely a real one, but uh, no. So you can fly? Can, can you? It's, it's simply. I've been no known question. to cast many spells, Reed. Oh, he's good. He's good. He's yeah. He's definitely, he's definitely avoiding the question. Yeah. Though. But okay. I think we're wasting time. It sounds like we have more important things to deal with, uh, other than my amazing spell casting. Okay. Well, you know what? If we got a couple extra spare minutes, we can just rake Eldred over the proverbial coals until he can say whether he flies or not. Um, anyone else with more uh, dire questions? How about that? Viv, you've been gone a bit. I'm sure you got a bunch of them. Uh, yes. I have a thousand. I don't know where to start. Nikita um, has, has gone. Uh, it may have been a teleport mishap. Uh, it may have been a snatched mishap. Also, it could have been yeah, a this. patron mishap. Which now that I think about it is a distinct I see. possibility. But that dude was so <laughs> fine, apparently. Like, so hot. Yeah, well, literally. When you live <laughs> in the nine hells, <laughs> right. you tend to be hot. Oh. The hells? The meeting still carries yeah. over, though. Yeah, it does. Hot well, is yeah. hot. I'll take it. Well, <clears throat> hot has <throat> more than one meaning. Um, <laughs> which is why we have this so, wonderful play on words. Go ahead. Reed. So Viv, uh, 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 Nikita, she started using magic, and apparently there was really? like some there was some guy that like gave it to her, and he was hot or something. That's, that's, that's great for Nikita. Her, and that was like uh, she made a deal with her, and she was obsessed with that marble. Marble. Yeah, she was obsessed with that marble. Yeah, she she let that people marble. you hang on to it for a little bit. So oh, wait. Yeah. Was the the evil version of me attacked Gaius, but Nikita mm -hmm. let her hold on to a marble? Well, that Why? was... Before you stabbed before. Gaius. Well, okay. before evil Viv stabbed Gaius. So, so Viv, um, just so to get it out, what was the last time, what was the last, you know, activity you did with us? We uh, were at that horrible house, and... That's when they came through the mirror, and then we found out that Eldred was just drinking at a bar that whole time, okay. and Constantly I left five, shortly five, after five. that. We had um, thought we had uh, just bumped into you a little bit later. In hindsight, some of the other party members uh, noticed some inconsistencies. Uh, I have a hot, I have a quick question with you, Viv. Um, how do you Oops. feel about heists in general? Are you pro As or con? stealing? Yes. I I don't think people should be stealing things. Yeah, that should have been the real clue. Um, yeah, needless to say, that one was pro theft. Um, hmm. Gosh, we really missed them. Really missed the mark on that. So many options, so many clues. We went on. We went on a big heist with Evil Earth. Why? Well, we met. Uh, well, uh, it was a money. Very <laughs> money. Well, no, it was a very powerful <laughs> artifact that we wanted to make sure didn't end up in bad hands. So and we she wanted it. it. Yes. Well, she was. An add-on, it was kind of, but she, the the real clue was that she was totally into it and gave uh, zero qualms about thievery in general. Now that I think nice. about it out loud, yeah. Eldred goes, wait a minute, guys, didn't you say that you saved the evil Viv as she was trying to get it at the last minute? Oh yes, I thought it was our Viv. So, in fact, evil Viv owes me twice. Do you think she was... I, I, I'm wondering if Viv might be right, if she might have been trying to steal it herself. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe she just sucks. 
being Viv. Oh no, we have a counter going. Uh, that's for nine hours. That's for. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we we just literally went over ten minutes. Just wanted to point that out. Okay. Oh did my Elder, god! Did Elder <laughs> use a spell to make a little a little hourglass that was way too long? It's huge. Yeah, it's like oh shit! I cast the wrong spell. Uh, so yeah, the last Thank thing I was to say as uh, I was like, man, this time is slowing down here. Yeah, I was like, that, that's uh, an awful long minute. So as the spell dissipates, <laughs> he's like, yeah, that one was definitely not as coordinated as our fifth. I mean, we did the shield surfing. They couldn't open up a box yes. without. Oh, and Reed, I can definitely mm -hmm. fly. Spell's been over. Oh. See, I don't Spell's believe over. that. No, neither do I. I could cast Zone it again real quick. It's gone. It's you notice the purple glow's gone? It's been over. <laughs> cast it again and be like, wait, could you repeat that, Eldred? I can fly. Right. Well, I don't okay. think I know how to Man, cast Man, I spell, really so. hope he ends up getting that spell at some point. <laughs> <laughs> what, Trumpet, are you all right? No. Oh, yes. Not even a little bit of my okay, to be honest. Let's talk about... Let's talk about rabbits now that I know I won't get stabbed in the back, literally, again. I won't. I I promise. I, I know I the, know the true won't. spell is gone, but, yeah. I'm so sorry that you did that. I, uh, I Sorry, the, the rabbits. But, Chapin, go ahead. Yeah. It's rabbits. okay. Yeah. By the way, we should not have let... Um, this is not Jack's fault. We should not have let Jack come with me. That is why I'm catatonic. I could have gotten out perfectly passively, and then we would have only had to protect one of us. Well, so, Jack all of a sudden goes... I said, it's not your fault. I know it's not your fault, buddy. They didn't want anyone what coming. You didn't do anything on purpose. Are they... <clears throat> I am dealing with so much guilt right now, Jack. Can you please not make me feel even worse? <laughs> Thank you. I really need a win here. Someone hug the pumpkin. I can't do this. Oh, get nice. the pumpkin. Thank you. <laughs> is this is this pumpkin a pumpkin or a person or? It's um, a yes. sentient. Elder goes yes. <laughs> we should have asked the pumpkin during Zone of Truth. Um. Oh, oh shit. He's just been miming this entire time and actually can't. We talk. could have learned a lot from this pumpkin just a second ago. Um, I, I, it's not something hello, I can cast again. We'll remember that. We're going to keep that in mind. Hi, my name is Vivalda Orkin. Uh, you can call me Viv. I don't, can you speak? All right. If you ever need to call me, I guess, just tap t twice or... Or, oh, you speak with light? Eyes light up a little bit, and he kind of goes, and you see the little cap on his head kind of pop up twice. A little Stay smoke comes out flicker, from underneath it. Um, flicker like three times, and I'll know that you're talking to me or something. Um, <laughs> pleasure, pleasure to meet you. And then it goes, Oh, adorable. Uh, Isn't he? He's, he's a very precious. good boy. Yeah, we freed him from a hag. He oh. tried to burn me up. Yeah. Oh. It's been a time. I opened the door. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, we'll... I see. I'm sure there'll be some trickle down in the stories. But, uh, Pudge Rumpet, you said but, yes, great things. So, um... I don't know, maybe... You overheard, or you, when Hannibal was saying goodbye to Reed? Mm, no, I did not cast Speak with Animals. I was... Reed, did any, I don't know, did any feeling of warmth leave your body or your blood run cold at the time that Hannibal was saying goodbye to you? Uh, I might have missed something. What are you talking about? Yeah, um, 
Hannibal is beyond yeah. vengeful and did not like the way he was being kept just at all and is convinced that you're an evil mastermind. <laughs> I'm a mastermind? Apparently. Apparently you were an evil mastermind who subjected him to torment and he wishes to enact vengeance upon you and the bunnies were originally telling me what a good mother I am for following their instructions and then they realized I wasn't alone and they blasted me back and made me catatonic and now I'm here. It, yeah. It's not good. It's not a good time and the sooner we can GTFO the better. Wait, I have the a... bunnies blasted you? What did they do? The big chungus bunny did some kind of force thing to like push me off of my feet. The 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 colorful rabbits that have been running around, they now have powers, magic? Uh at least the large one does. The big large it's one. Good to know. Yep. Oh. You made oh. it! What an ungrateful <laughs> fucker, Jesus! I know, and I'm really sad because I really respected them, and I thought they were really cool, and now they're mad at me. So they're upset at what? all of us. Yeah. Like even Calandra, they don't. Calandra wasn't there. Everyone on two legs. Everyone. Everyone. Oh, like funny. everyone. I specifically Except helped them money. out because that was the thing. They like they spoke of yours and my kindness to Hannibal. And they admired that, but then when they saw that I didn't come alone, I think that screwed that entire thing up. Dude, Wait. I dug in Reed's pockets to give Hannibal something and offer That's a horrifying. Like, I put my freaking hands, experience. my bare hands in Reed's pockets. I know. Like for what? They called me their mother. Me to fuck him up. What? No. Glad you we just best. left it. No. <laughs> also, also we have a bunch of temple? other problems. <laughs> also, then we got a bunch of other problems right now. Oh. So okay. Just so I'll many. I'll put a pin in it, but fuck those bunnies. I will fuck them yeah. up. <laughs> so, okay. Those were the rabbits. Disrespect. Oh. Yeah, uh, Viv, we'll definitely catch you up on all the other nonsense that's been happening. Yes, right. Uh, so I guess, Calandra, you, uh, the search for your brother's kind of hit a dead end at the moment. I feel kind of bad about it. Anything I can do to make it up? Maybe, <clears throat> uh, he pulls out a deck of cards. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bad, oh, the, oh, you have the cards! The cards! <laughs> well, if you're not going to offer up what she wants, she'll take a card. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I yeah. kind... Really? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, oh, I wanted to anyway. <laughs> Remember? I, Guys leans over the... I have a super magical deck of cards that might do stuff. Reed and I wanted oh. to pull a card, but then we couldn't. And but trumpet was like, please don't, not here, and so we didn't. I was exceptionally restrained. I was such a good. So person. it's more um, like an apology, <laughs> I guess. If you want to test it out, I kind of. I know you were super excited for it. Uh, it's, so just help which point, in poker or? Oh, I have no idea. I haven't actually used these. I acquired them. Right. It in might the actually literally house. implode and fuck up my entire existence. Let's do oh, this. If we don't... Pull them out, big boy. Come on, whip it out. Guys. We... We're, fucked. Um, we're so fucked. Don't flaunt it if you're not gonna pull it out. I, listen, I feel you bad that we were. You don't able, know what they will to... do at all. No. Nope. Uh, um. No, well, that's not true. It's, it's they're magical, and something magic will happen. These Most have powers, bad. or good. Here's the thing about there's a good um, thing, yeah, but, or bad. 
good. See, I just really is think magic. it's magic. It's on the back of his potential for something bad. I just really feel yeah. like that needs to be the focus. As wonderful as thinking. magic is, yeah, I, after seeing what you guys can do, it's awesome. It's wonderful. Great. I love that for you all. But um, <laughs> also, Butt Trumpet tends to also, uh, in no, no offense, Butt Trumpet at all, but like sometimes Butt Trumpet makes bunnies who accidentally, I guess, end up wanting to kill everything that walks on two legs. So yeah, no, I don't know if there's specifically a card that will do that and make a bunch of bunnies who want to kill people walk on two legs, or possibly something worse, or, you know, there could be something, something great good. in there. I'd like yeah, to know it's just a me thing, but yeah, we never know. Well, can we tell the if thing. the cards are good or bad? Can we put Zone of Truth on the cards and ask them if they are if evil they or good? They don't talk, but um. But the magical Eld Eldred, you're the one who did the um, identifying. The, yes. the deck was the deck of uh, like Kernzel or something along those lines. Do you remember uh, exactly? Like Kernzel. The like deck Kernazale. of like Kernazale, but there it's mo it has many names. The most common one is that the deck is known as the Trial, and each of the cards are known as the Judges. Okay, so Calandra, I see you. Yeah. You proposed um, wanting to try this. I'm kind of doing this as recompense. I'm <laughs> of a mind with Viv, but also. I'm also, I won't lie, I'm also tempted. I have a problem with um, taking chances with my life on occasion. Obviously. Money. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, a lot. Yeah. If you yeah. want to be judged. <laughs> Baby, that's my fucking life. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going on record saying I'm not comfortable with this. Okay. That is I'm going to be in the fetal position in the corner rethinking everything in my life. Could I join you? Always. <laughs> Panic attacks are always more fun with a friend. Go make a blanket for it, get some, like, safe foods. Oh, yeah. You know it. Okay. Right. So, <laughs> so, do I just have to, like, draw a card? Do you hand me a card? I got, what is... I got, Eldred, I guess, how does this work? Is it just pull a card out of the deck kind of thing? Or is it, like, has to be dealt out? What, how does that work? They just draw, draw one a card. Out Usually from the top of the deck is the impression I got. Because okay. it, from what I know of this deck from casting the spell, it reshuffles itself after every single draw. Oh, okay. Huh? So, oh, so one doesn't go away. away. So me taking the deck out won't um, murder me. I didn't learn anything about that. So just so you're saying drawing the being dealt the top deck of the cards is how this works. Uh, if you want to draw one from within the deck, that's up to you too, I guess. I mean, no, it as far as drawing a card, it doesn't seem like uh, there's a rule that I was able to okay. determine. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Guy's kind of just like gets the cards like the poke out a little bit. He's like, Calandra, if you want to take the top deck card. And so Calandra just reaches over and grabs the top card. Calandra, Ooh, roll Hawkins. me roll me a percentage <laughs> dice, please. Oh god. Oh Bacchus, please bless this woman. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets her shield. So <laughs> Oh, so close. 64. Calandra. Yes. I am going to break the rules here and help you out a little bit, okay? Okay. This is one of the unique cards that something happens and there's a time limit. Basically, when you read the card and when I finish speaking describing the card to you. You are going to have 10 seconds to respond. I would respond with the first thing that comes to your mind in response to this question. If you do not respond within that 10 seconds, the card will choose for you. Ah, okay. 
Okay. All right. You look at the card, and there is a pair of very seductive female lips painted candy apple there just sparkling. Underneath them, it says desire. As you look at it, the lips speak and say, what do you desire? Okay, is that, does my time start now? Do I have to answer now? What do you decide? Go now, because the 10 seconds already passed. So go again. Oh, fuck. Okay. To find happiness. To find the man of my dreams. Okay. So you see Calandra draw the card, look at it, and immediately the card bursts into flames and the whole deck in your hand there, guys, rifle, ruffles. And obviously you can tell that it's reshuffling itself. And then it's back hmm. in your hand again. What was that? Did uh, anything happen? Magic? <laughs> it just asked me what I desired. Well, that's kind of a good one for you. What'd you ask for? Yeah. The man of my dreams. Oh, nice. Nice, yeah. Unless you have bad dreams. No, that I hope is not one of those kind of magic things. He's hot. He's got okay. money. Okay, all right. My sugar daddies are coming, <laughs> y'all. Okay, well, oh, hey, <laughs> or, looks like... I'm, uh, or I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get murdered in a back alley somewhere by a dude that looks like the man of my dreams. It's going to be my oh, sleep paralysis. You, are those the sort of dreams you have? Did you specify good dreams? No. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I only had, like... <laughs> A little bit of time. Look, we got bunnies trying to murder us. Like, I know. I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to get some, like, on a steady basis. So, like, it's fine. Okay. Um. Awesome. So, uh, like, guys is looking around to see if like a dude's falling out, like, falling out of the sky or something. Like, uh, but, uh... Robin Hood men in tights. Through the yeah. When will he get did you, here? Did you want me to check yeah. upstairs? We just hear a thud on the roof. They're like, ooh. I don't know anything. Oh, I know the car is just like, what? If, the car didn't give me, like, it didn't come with a bunch of disclaimers and time frames and rules. It was just like, what do you want? I feel as though it should. Interesting. I feel. Interesting. So this, this, so this card is saying it'll give you what you desire. And you it ask just asked me what particular. I desired. Yeah, it just asked what I desire. Didn't say it would give it to oh, me. Oh, it, it asked, asked me what, what I you desire. Yeah, it what asked do what you, you desire? desire. It didn't. It didn't promise you that though. Nope, didn't promise me a damn thing. It just asked me what I wanted or what I desired. Yeah. So it didn't give you anything. It didn't. No. Interesting. But at the least it didn't give me anything be... that requires antibiotics to get rid of. So hey. The cards are supposed What's to be a antibiotic? trial or a judge. <laughs> Is it silently judging yes. you, or...? <laughs> What's it? I yeah, mean, do you feel pro judged? Probably. Do I mean, I'm more so than usual. Bit, but more so, it's like, not more uh, than usual. Uh, the usual amount of judging. <laughs> By the way, Vivalda, do you know of the Temple of Hedoni? <clears throat> oh, dear. Oh, dear boss. I, I haven't heard of that, no. Yeah, that is that. the temple. Decent that library. Is the temple that Eldred's I... a big fan. Work. Oh yeah, and Eldred loves oh. it. Um, Especially when it's free. <laughs> right, I've got a lot of debt to work off for you. Do you have a career <laughs> lot on your tab? I am going to be doing unspeakable things. Oh, okay. Um, does path. anyone else so want to try a card? Card? It's anyone? a temple. But it's, it, a... it's a temple that has a unique. We offer uh, so it's a brothel temple <laughs> oh 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 right okay and eldred Wait, is a big what? fan that's what, what? We're doing. That's... <laughs> you didn't know <laughs> i thought it was a buffet i thought everybody was getting their own private and food in their rooms I... I didn't know... oh some of them were getting private food in their private rooms they were eating things uh... it just wasn't <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you do you um, you do you work there or you are I'm a, a bartender. A, a patron? I'm a bartender. You're a bartender. I'm a bartender. Wonderful. I make drinks and watch and for watch, watch bar fights basically. <laughs> There's gambling. Um, there's lots of good food. Uh, Nikita drank a whole oh, keg of beer. Too much. In I fact. believe that. <laughs> I, but it I was bourbon that. beer, so she couldn't say no. Oh, uh, yes. She was very excited. Uh, yeah. So a pretty great solid library. library guys too. really like the library. Cool. Yeah. Right. Decent library. So yes, that's Surprise. why when everyone makes the comments about me being judged or if I feel judged, it's it's because of where I work. I get it a um, lot. Oh, I apologize for that. You shouldn't you shouldn't have to receive that. It comes with the territory. But you're lovely. It's it's fine. Are we gonna deal with this rabbit, the doppelgangers? Um Well Is there anything um, else I should know? You worked with her. And she stabbed you. Yes. She, she likes to eat spiders. Yeah, that was... Uh, Alive? Yeah. Yeah. No, they were fried. Oh, uh, no. They were fried. Fried. Oh, all right. Um, all right. Not really, but... Nah, it's each their own, I guess. Uh, I mean, so, I guess get, anyone... But, um, yeah. Anyone yeah. else want a card before I put these things away? Yeah. No. Do you think I should take one, guys? I yes! Really like mm. yes! Yes! Don't make Elder me do it. That's, you do it. That, Alondra really? seems like a pretty intelligent person, Reed. It might <laughs> judge you. <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't get judged right now. I'm gonna, I think I really screwed everything up. Well, I mean, you didn't. Yeah, should... mother, apparently. I made your own buddies hate you. I'm so sorry, but <laughs> no. It's all right. I apparently also make them hate me, but I tried so hard. You, mm -mm. but trumpet, you are a damn good mother. Okay, you don't let them get in your head about this. Like sometimes you can do everything possible, and they go off with a bad crowd and get bad ideas. You're a fucking great mother. And I see Google. How old are they? Good jobs. <laughs> How old are these rabbits? Are they in their um, pre-pubescent years currently? Oh, all angsty and teenage and shit. Yeah, they're magically right, they're summoned. They're magically summoned rabbits. I don't know how they age, to be quite honest. I feel like they could they're be immortal. a couple months old, maybe. So about adolescent time. Oh yeah, they're yeah. Hopefully, it's just a phase. <laughs> Puberty, um, it's a hell of a, yeah, that's like, they're not in their right line. They came me already with their hair dyed wacky colors. This is the magic, that was just their face. A couple of them on the most of their face. A couple of them had pierced ears. Anyway. So, I'm sorry no? I've been gone so long, and I haven't been able to help you all with all of this. We did miss you. I hugged we the did. evil boob. I didn't, I didn't know it was the evil boob. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. Group hug! What's up, group hug the good kid? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you see Jack go. Yeah, you two, bring it in, bud. Get in there, Jack. They would hug whoever hugs her. <laughs> so, Reed, you're not going to pull a card? I don't think I should be judged Elder? right now. I feel like I'm really messing everything up. Eldred goes, that's just the name of the deck. It's also known as Promises of the Ancients. It's got numerous names. Uh, Promises of the Ancients. Or Glimpses of the Eternal is another name it goes by. Yeah, depending on the game distributor you go to. So wait, Eldred, then. you're smart. You think I should pick a card? <clears throat> Let me think on yes. that. Yeah. <laughs> How often do you get a chance to do that? <clears throat> So, hey, yeah, Eldred, you want one, right, though? By that argument, right? You want one, Eldred? I am man enough to know that I should wait my turn after Reed. And before anyone else, right? I didn't say that. But no, no. I will I'm, I'm be the gentleman and let you. Reed go first. Really? Um, a gentleman? Really? Yes. He's calling I, um, a lot of things, my friend, but a gentleman. All right. I step up, my guys, and I pull out the debt collector and I hand it to Kalandra. Remind me to tell you about this 
after I pull a card. <laughs> okay. The hell does that mean? It did something weird. I should tell all of you guys. But anyway, Ooh. nothing nothing horrible. Take the debt collector. Just, just hold on to that in case I turn into, like, you know, a, a evil breed or something here. I, I don't know what this will do. Okay, buddy. Mm, don't do right. that. I hope the, yeah, I hope the card doesn't do that. I don't know what... I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't I'm draw sure a card. I'm really nervous now. <laughs> you, you sure? I mean, I'll do it if you do, if you if you're not going to feel comfortable about it. Wait, will you still do it if I pull one? I mean, I'll do it if you don't pull one. Okay, I'm going to pull one. <laughs> I'll go first. I pull a card. I have my shield. <laughs> Reed, roll me a percentage dice, please. Uh, uh, I got a hundred. <laughs> Oh, oh, shit. God. Oh, no. oh man. I hope oh, I hope Oh man, I hope I hope you get a free level up or something. <laughs> or I hope you're uh, immune or, to buddy death. <laughs> yeah, man, oh. funny. Do I explode, Paul? Just tell me if I explode. Reed, you pull the card and you look at it, and on the card. It's a powdered wig with no head beneath it and a set of robes and a hand holding a gavel behind a tall, what looks like a desk. And beneath it, it says, last minute pardon. So Reed picks a card, looks at it, makes a little bit of a face, and then the card bursts into flames and guys, once again, you feel the deck ruffle in your hands, rifle in your hands, as it reshuffles. Did it ask you the same it, thing? I don't know what it just did. Did it? Did it say anything? Did it do anything? It had, did it, it ask had what your written, desires were? Written, no, it had written on it "last minute pardon." Oh, and please it looked be like done, a, please. It looked like a. a what I think a judge looks like. No face, but like a, the little hammer they used and the weird last thing they pardon. wear. Less, that sounds like almost like a second chance of some kind. I wonder what that implies. Oh, that might oh, be something please. good. Please, 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 but the cart disappeared, so it didn't do anything. Well, it could probably did something. Like I said, last... It, it didn't give you something immediate, but it sounds like if something bad were to happen, you'd get a second chance. Oh. You think that's what it does? Okay. I'm kind I of how I do that. getting that from... Uh, well, don't go trying to fly anytime soon. I feel <laughs> like you'd goes, be wasting it. We can wait till next week. No. Just okay. stop. Eldred, your turn. Eldred, I want to see you fly first, just so you know. Before you make me fly, I want to see you. That's fair. Guard, Eldred? Pick a card. Any card? Oh, after you. Calandra, no, no, that was after Reed. I'll tell you about it. So now you. Before me. Okay. Unless okay. you're yellow. <laughs> he casts a spell and you see him go bright gold. Well, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, close. That's pretty close. I think you actually might. Pick a card, Eldred. I'm getting to it, he says. Boy, <laughs> you carry a friend all the way from the Eastern Districts, and this is what you get. Excuse me. You're talking like she was a, like they were a burden or something. Yes. Hey, oh seven. They don't weigh that much either. That's really low. If only it could be double oh seven. But it is a lucky number seven. Is it? Is it though? Could be. I don't know. As we watch and see what happens to Eldred. He just dies. No. <laughs> no what the hell? Fly. This game, don't fuck with this game. It just turns into Jumanji. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Not sponsored. Not sponsored, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Not sponsored by Jumanji. Call out the deck's name, quick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can barely <laughs> pronounce it. So what happens to Eldred? I'm, I'm about ready to tell you. He pulls the card, looks at it. A strange look comes across his face, 
and then all of a sudden the card goes into flames and the deck rifle ruffles again. Well, bud? I have a feeling this isn't good, but I, I don't know what it means. What does it ask you? It, it didn't ask me anything. The, the card said it, it had a picture of a beautiful woman dressed Ooh. all in white, and the title was Time is a Cruel Mistress. Okay, that's unsettling. I won't lie. <laughs> I kind of feel bad about that one. The other two were actually kind of good. Can I draw a card? You want to draw a card, Viv? I don't do think it, do it, these are just cards that just say something unsettling and then they disappear into flames. That's true. So far, nothing is Kind of. Happened. Kind of. They're vague. Yeah. But I am curious to know what it would say to me. Same! Oh. <laughs> if anyone's uncomfortable with it, I won't, though. I'm very curious. <laughs> Says Eldred. I mean, I won't <laughs> lie, but Trumpet is. <laughs> Never mind. You <laughs> pause that? Go. Go for it. The... Are you sure? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> All right. Ah! Too, but Trumpet. <laughs> no! <laughs> I respect that. I know my luck, and I know it'll be bad. <laughs> uh. All right. You're due for some good luck. Long overdue. Not happening today. <laughs> they will go take a card. Okay. Uh, roll me a percentage dice, please. Oh, dear. 71. Da, da, da. Brianna's very nervous for Vivalda right now. <laughs> <laughs> Vivalda, you pull the card and look at it. And it is a hooded figure. Well, it's basically just a cloak. Uh, very okay. reminiscent of many versions of the Ghost of Christmas yet to come. But it's a very light, muslin-looking set of robes. And a very deep hood. Except it looks like nobody's in there. And the title underneath it says, Date with Destiny. So... So you see Vivalda look at the card, get a kind of a curious look on her face. The card bursts into flames, and once again, <laughs> you feel it shuffle in your hands there, Gaius. Okay, how'd it go, Viv? What happened? I, um, card said a date with destiny. Ooh. Okay, that's neither um, good nor bad. Uh, intrigue. Interesting. I don't know what it means, though, so... No. Maybe you'll face your evil self. <laughs> if Could be that's thing. my destiny, I guess... Are you going to draw a card, Gaius? get revenge for your kidney. Yes, uh, I too would like revenge for my kidney. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I'll be pulling the card. Gaius, like, closes his eyes, you can just see him <laughs> muttering under his breath. Please, <laughs> <laughs> <Please>, Marcus. <laughs> give me the... Give me the luck in life now that I didn't have in the past. <laughs> a 45? You just pull a card and it says, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been worse. Could hell, be man? better. <laughs> the judge is just shrugging. What the actual what hell? I literally pulled the card of lackluster. Beige. Um, Mid. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. <laughs> oh, this isn't a good sign. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, wow. This, he said, wow. Abort. This, this has an effect that... Um, so I'm, I'm going to need... Uh, hear me out before you do anything. I, I'm going to need everyone to take off their headphones for a brief moment. And then because of the way this is written, I'm going to bring up the team fist. And I'll need Reed to come back on. Just me first. Okay. I'll, and join guys. Here's your. Uh -oh. Here's your. Did, did you already get your dagger back? Yes. Because <laughs> yes. if you didn't, take, okay. I was like, take it back. So, guys, you look at the card. Mm-hmm. And it's a series of hourglasses that create a spiral into in the infinite distance against 
what looks like space. Okay, this is intriguing. And it said the title underneath says "Time is a flat circle." Oh, okay. And read the two of this you ex experience the exact same thing. It's slow at first, but eventually speeds up to an unbelievable speed. You find yourself there, and immediately you start. Time reverses, and you see yourself doing everything in reverse that you've been doing. For minutes, hours, days, weeks, uh -huh. months, all of this repeats itself, and with all it with you going into reverse at a faster and faster and faster speed. No, uh -huh. you finally are taken back to the Green Sea Forest. You are no, taken no. back to the Fiddler's Rest. Oh. You find yourself going back <laughs> through that doorway into that tower. Okay. And you find yourself going through the tower and in the one room with the infinite doors and the circle in the middle. The, your large, the large friend that was with you throwing something into the circle. And there is an explosion of force. And just like mm -hmm. that moment, each of you lose a point of every ability score. And you are then back uh, with the rest of the group. Okay. And the card bursts into flames, and the deck reshuffles itself. You see Gaius fall to one knee and start coughing and drop the deck. <coughs> oh, oh. What? What? Um, what? 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 Read. Time. Uh, time. What time uh, is it? I, f oh, I feel dumb. Uh, I have a, I have a, qu I have a question, <laughs> Paul. Yes. Uh, so all the stuff that's happened up to us to this point, mm -hmm. does that also revert? Like the damage and all the other stuff? No, you just you rewitness all the things that you had experienced. Okay. Until it takes you back to that moment, which had the most profound effect on you. And everyone around you who was with you at that time. Yeah, no, I just feel worse. No. Oh. Uh, what just happened? Oh. It happened to both of you? Yeah, I don't know why it happened to both of us. Both of you. But, um, yeah, it, it was like, um... Time didn't. Uh, time was going backwards, and then uh, we got to re-experience a less than awesome part of our adventures together. I, and I guess because Reed and I were the only one who had that particular one, that's why. Yeah, that was oh. before we met any of you. By the way, guys, hey, Eldred, you have Eldred the, was there. Guys, you have the distinct <laughs> feeling. Oh yeah. That everyone else who was with you at that time in that room uh, has probably room. also experienced that same effect and if you remember correctly Eldred was downstairs at that time he was uh, well that was terrible <coughs> yeah that don't feel so good <laughs> no no neither do I my trumpet you want to pull a card hmm oh <laughs> would you like to pull you're due for good luck I mean I mean, yeah. I'll pull a second one at this point. I'll pull. I was gonna say, I'll do. I'll do a second one if Butt Trumpet's just curious. Like that's. No, I'll pull. I, no, no, I'll pull a second one. I'm bound to get a good one after the bad one I just got. No, look, I'll. I'll do it. I'll do it. Really? You don't have to do it. Uh, listen, I don't want to pressure you. I'll do it. I mean, look, everyone like, else had a good one. Like I got nothing left to lose. I've got nothing left to lose. I might as well, and I kind of feel left out. <laughs> Don't feel left out. Peer this is no, pressure, this peer is, pressure. No, plan just stop. Just like smack her. Do it. Don't. <laughs> Setting a bad precedent. Don't feel pressured, too. I want to do it, Bruce. I want to see. I promise. I want to experience it. I'll, I'll do it. Think good thoughts. This is what people sound like when they're lining up outside of the temple for the first time. 
<laughs> Get your safe word ready. Ninety-two. Okay. <laughs> Damn. It's a good one. Or not. <laughs> or not. It's, yeah. it is. it's good. It has to be good. You're a good, good person, and you deserve all the best things. It has to be. And pure, true blue. Bub trumpet. You pull a card, and you see a face in shadow. It is tough to tell if it is a male face or a female face. It seems to have a few characteristics of both, but there are there are a set of lips that sparkle like candy apple red. Okay. And the yeah, title... The title underneath says, Last Kiss. You bring me right round, baby, right round. <laughs> And the card bursts into flame, and Gaius can feel the deck shuffle in his hands again, in his now weakened hands. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, well, that was interesting. Uh, what what, what happened? Okay. It was very... Fabulously androgynous face with fantastic mm, nice. lipstick on, and it said last <gasps> kiss. It said last what? Last, last kiss. Last kiss. I Odd. have no clue. Hmm. So that should be interesting. <laughs> I don't feel bad, at least. Hey. That's good. Hey. <laughs> All right, anyone else before I put these away? I think that's everyone. Jack, do you want to pull a card? Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> okay. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. You don't have to. I mean, if, guys, if we don't start feeling better later, we could always just pull another one, right? Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I can only see that going well for you. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's, you know, it's just a thing. Uh, so I'm just going to put these away now. We're good? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Hey, and as he turns his back on everybody, he pulls out one more card just to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! 57. Gaius has a gambling problem. Right. Gaius does have a gambling problem. This is that is canon. Do I need to like slap the cards out of his hand? You fucking stop this you don't shit see right it. now. You don't see it. He turned put his oh, back okay. and put it in his okay. pocket. Okay. Okay. All right. How are you gonna punish me this time? I mean, what does the card say? You look upon the card and it is an one single eye. And in the pupil you see a very dark cloud with a lightning bolt coming down lighting up the entire pupil beneath it cool. beneath it is the title eye of the storm mm. gaius you will be able to at one time call upon the storm when you need it it says it, it's you will be able to call upon the storm. What that means, yeah. you're not sure. And the card bursts into flames, and you feel it shuffle in your in your hand. Way better than the last one. Card's still in the deck, though. Card's still in the deck, though. You gave me a very bad tool that I, I, I have a feeling I'm going to continue to play with now, <laughs> whether the rest of the party knows or not. <laughs> Chris doesn't have a gambling problem, but Gaius does. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's good. So you just hear him go, huh. And all of a sudden you hear, like, a lightning bolt hit outside somewhere. As if there's a storm on the horizon. <clears throat> That's it. <clears throat> what, what was, was that? that? Well, what? Oh, I caught I had a tickle. There's a lot of dust. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, you know what? Gaius, give me a sleight of hand roll. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, one of his known skills. 
Hey, you said that you're the better thief than me. <laughs> four. <laughs> I and a four. Calandra, give me a perception check. Do we smell the card burning or something? <laughs> Something is on fire in here. <laughs> 16. Yeah, Kalandra, you saw a little burst of flame when he turned around briefly. It was just the quickest little flash. All right, fine. I'll pull a card. There we <laughs> pull go. Pull another card. There we go. Was it the lightning? Be honest if you were well, you. blatantly uh, confronted. Or was that just uh, a well, storm? You know, it was more of just uh, avoidance of conflict. Uh, no, well, I get to call upon the storm one time. Oh, nice. That's so, interesting. Was that, that a just saying cool. hi, or...? I think that might have just been some, like, uh, ambiance or something. You know, like the flash of the card. Ooh. Or... Ooh. All right. Some artistic license, storms, perhaps. Ooh. Because, like, you know the ooh, cuddling in the rainy weather. <gasps> My dream man must be close Why would I by. call the storm? To... <laughs> I, I'm imagining when something terrible is, ha is happening and we need nature to storm. literally give us a hand. You know, we each have our own ideas of when we need nature to give us a hand, buddy. It's all right. <laughs> yes, I guess everybody imagines when they might need vast magical forces to assist them. Well, that was fun. Yeah, um... That is yet to okay. be discovered, uh, unfortunately, says Eldred. I guess, uh, let's take a, a walk through the stone's throw and kind of make sure everything's... See what's what. Like, the kitchen's in disarray, but are there, like, food stuffs that can still be used? Like, I'm sure they're... All the perishables are not no longer good. But yeah, there's know, still food stuff. The flour's right. still all right. Like, well, we some of them still... have been thrown on the ground and burst. But, you know, yes. and most of the sacks have been cut open. So I guess uh, for well, pirate treasure. Man, you probably what the hell? Uh, did this? So oh. I think the guards did it because uh, they think Butterbeer was up to something nefarious. Like Piracy. hiding criminals who absconded right. with a super magic blade of some sort. Elder says, wait a minute, what? What? What did you just say? Maybe they were looking for someone... Who absconded with a very powerful magical item. Such as an artifact? Uh, it could be one of them, yes. Yes, oh, I am okay. aware that I'm uh, implicating us in the fact that he might be now the reason why he's in jail. That reminds me, I gotta tell you about the debt collector. Oh, God. What did you do? All right, all right. So, you, you know what? This sounds like a shorter story, debt collector, real quick. What happened? <laughs> you gonna tell us who threw you off the roof, too? Oh, I, I jumped. So, um... <laughs> you kicked like was... Calandra in the head. You jumped right onto me? Like, dude. I also, the... how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to hit that big, ugly thing you were fighting. So I... I when I Parker got pulled onto the roof... I, <laughs> I'm aware of that. All you got was the gnome. I heroically pushed you away from it, too. That you did. That you did. I was, there was a measure of success in my stupid attempt to save you. <laughs> so, but when I was on the roof, there were these other creatures up there. Not just the thing that pulled me up there. There were these, uh, they look like heads on top of, like, squids or something. I don't know. Or, or octopus. Am I saying that right, Paul? The shape-wise, that's, that's not what the heads were on top of. What was it, a bunch of feet? It was four limbs that came four together. Limbs, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. A bunch of limbs. Yeah, it was, it was these gross things. So I had to get out of there. So I stabbed at the thing that pulled me onto the roof, and the deck collector lit up with the, like, the, see on the handle here? There's these little, like, vines. And the one, the little tendril thing, the one like, it like blackened here and kind of went, and it like really hurt this creature. Like, it was so neat. I know it hurt it a lot. Guys, where the deck collector had two of these snake-like ten tendrils cu coming from the base. Yeah. It had eight of those, but two of them were missing and they were like, it was like they were broken, broken off, off and burned. 
There's now three yeah. of those that are gone. Interesting. Hey, bud. Um, so it happened like when you did a real good hit or something, right? Maybe. Oh yeah, I hit yeah. this thing you so stuck hard. Stuck real good. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I think you have like that many worth of that one. I don't know how to make it do it again, but that was great. <laughs> I have a feeling. Uh, when the moment's right, it will just kind of do it on its own. Like you, okay. you nailed it. Like you're in your most roguish element, and you're sneak attacking real good, and it just boom, mm. and then pop. Yeah, that's kind of just how it happened. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. 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 And then I, I jump off the roof. And all... I... I wonder what happens when you collect all the debts associated. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's just that, hey, you know what? We'll all find out together. Yes. Yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be a thing. It'll be a <laughs> and thing. Then, and then Vivi, with the Vivi, Vivi should have seen. I jumped off the roof, just like when I jumped off the roof at the, at the halflings. And I jumped, right, off the, uh, I jumped off this roof, and there was this horrible creature. It had two heads, and it was walking around on hands, but it had more hands. And stuff. I don't know, it was this big, what? ugly thing. Oh, my gosh. That's <laughs> terrific. Yeah. yeah, and then so he saw that and then kicked Calandra in the face. Heroically, he's like pushing her like down the alley. Alley. Did we catch them up so, to the creatures we endured? Which ones? You're going to have to narrow that down. Are you the talking about the waves and the undead? The and no, our the evil copies. The human oh, what? Hu human centipede? Yeah, that. It was made by all these yeah. people who they were missing their heads and they were connected at the butt, and it was just gross and it was all like yeah. Rah. So I did it was a made bit out of, of humans. Me, me, yeah, yeah, it was made, it was made, of, made well, out people. of well people. I don't know if it was just humans. People. It could people have been other oh, type. People. So it looked like like most of the head and like it might have been the spinal column and the little bit of brain bit at the top, and kind of they just connected from. Tailbone to neck bone, over oh. and over. It was awful. Yeah, right in the butt. It was horrifying. Yeah, over, I think it might have been like 12, 11 times. I, I found all the shoes. Yeah. I found more shoes than should have even fit on that thing. It, yeah. it was um, for some reason. It was alive. I was. You know what I mean? It was a thing. That moved. It had a working brain that sent messages to its various body parts to move. I don't know if it was necessarily uh, alive. It could have been undead. I mean, when you do that much kind of surgery on a thing, definitely magic involved. Undead. Uh, some necromancy, most likely. We were upset. Um, oh, speaking of undead, Viv, the other Viv was with us during that other little trek. Not this which, Viv. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so um, we went to the necropolis, went through the Black Gate, um, saw a bunch of undead, um, stopped a bunch for a bit. So that happened. Uh, we decided to take a rest, um, and then not you volunteered for first watch. And because you're such a trusting individual, we didn't think anything about it. And I woke up with a knife in my kidney. Um, the bunny staked out as a sacrifice. And your evil self basically drawing the hordes to us. Which we then valiantly fought through until we met... This is kind of fast-forwarding a bit. There's a bunch of... There was a cliff at one point. There was an undead flying thing with a rider. Needless to say, we met sentient undead and negotiated our that's, way out. Well, that's a belief. It was like, it was like Frost King or cold something. I mean, it was all kind of a thing. To be quite honest, there was a lot of blood loss for me at that point, and I was not in a fit state. And then we got out of there successfully. Yep. We may or may Gosh. not have unleashed a separate undead horde on the town because of it. 
Oh, but no, we shut the door. We be, shut the door. Yeah. We shut the door. But um, <laughs> the good news is it might fight the other undead creatures currently roaming the Eastern District, absconding with people to, uh, we assume, turn into the same. That, that was undead in the Eastern District. Creatures, you know, they had the thing where they spit the goo on you and maybe take you away. We, did, did you never have had to deal with that with us? Oh, God, I thought you were there for some of that. I don't think so. Yeah, I was there was, there was the yeah remember on the outside, the, the big things? The glowy green oh. things? The big oh, things the on the outside. Ones, yes. Yeah, there's a whole those. bunch more of those now, yeah. There's like a lot more. Wonderful. So, well, yeah. oh, well, we're not done yet. I haven't even gotten to the bad part. Um, <laughs> this isn't the bad part. No, not by far. No. Because at least uh, undead and creatures of like summoned evil have at least the right off that they, hey, I was summoned here. I'm evil. This is just me. Uh, it's more of when you choose to do bad things. In fact, I think that makes it worse. Oh, so, yes, yes. not the bad part. We saved some of our guard friends from before. Not the bad part. But, uh, when we had to go looking for some temporary little missing party members, found them, obviously, because they're here, we had to cut through the area of town that is currently ablaze over in the Eastern District. So where all the guards are blocking, like we were able to sneak through there with the guards' assistance through their advice. Ooh, and, we met Captain um, Maru. Sorry, never mind. Lieutenant Maru now, uh, due mm. to circumstances. We found... We found... pits filled with the dead and dying. The sick and injured, wasting away. We found a pyre of unnatural size, destroying parts of the Eastern District, being maintained by what we assume are mages under the employ of the city. Bodies being thrown in as either, I am at best hoping some kind of quarantine and plague reasons, but hell, they could be sacrifices, but it, it's a horror that I have yet to properly encompass. It oh, is okay. one of the wild speculations that I am almost hoping isn't true. Someone threw out the idea, oh, you need a really hot fire to birth a dragon. And I know the Baron is obsessed with dragons. I can only hope he's not wasting the lives of his citizens in some fool's errand. And in fact, I am seeing what is happening here. Good guardsmen relegated to bad positions or just straight leaving. An unknown force brought into town to become the new regulators of the law. I'm starting to wonder how corrupt this town has become. Look! As he gestures around at the stone's throw. Butterbeer is an innocent man. Did he have some people that may have done a thing? Yep. He should not be locked nope. up right now. This is an injustice on him. But you walk around the streets right now in the Western District. Where are the people? They say it's because they were sick. But were they? Were all of them? I don't believe it anymore. And I'm concerned. I'm concerned what I saw over in the Eastern District. And I'm wondering what they're doing to the city, what they're doing to the people of the city to protect buildings and people in power. The citizens that are make up this town are dying. I can't stand for it anymore. And I either need to do something about it or I need to leave this city 
before I can't stop myself. I'll help you do something about it. I know you will, Viv. You're a good person. Probably better than any of us here right now. I'm sorry if I got too serious, guys. I... Every once in a while, we need to. Those pits are going to haunt me until the day I die. And I can only thank Bacchus that not all of you had to witness them. Like the fact that Gaius and I literally had to walk away from a man screaming and crying for our help. And there was nothing we could do. At all. This voice he, haunts me when I close like, my eyes. When we start to be question gods, shall we... I know people in the Overlook now. I can try and talk to them. Most of the good guards are gone or have been relegated to positions of in- impotency. At what point do good people have to go to to right wrongs is the question. I've worked with the guards. I have tried, for the most part, to do the right thing. I'm wondering now if the people that have been fighting this leader and his decisions are the ones that are in the right. I do not approve of their attacks, their explosions, their destruction upon civilians and innocents. But I don't know if their cause is still not just in the end. What is greater? What evils are worse? I don't know. I think I need to go and pray on it personally. At which point guys gets off from the table. I'm going to go up, look at my room, see what's left of it, and I need a few minutes alone to consult with hopefully more wise powers than me. And leaves the room. Of course. It was really bad, dude. I had no idea. Don't fuck with those cards while you're gone! <laughs> as, as you say that, the cards come flying and just land on the table. Oh shit. Oh. And you just, as okay. as he's leaving, you hear his pack falling to the ground, his shield, his hammer, and you just see as he's going up the stairs, him just taking all of his armor and gear off as he walks up. Well, I clearly didn't read the fucking room. We all at those moments, it's okay. I, uh, he and I obviously deal with uh, our, our heavy shit in different ways. I don't. Okay, I just put it all in a little box and internalize it. One day it's going to erupt in raging like mental illness, but for now it's fine. I wear it on my sleeve. <laughs> you should work on that, Calandra. <laughs> I should. I really have to pack a lot of it down, though. It's been a. It's been a ride. I just. Uh, everything's fine. It's always fine. It's fine. Isn't this fine? Well, I'm I mean, very sober. This is a problem. <laughs> I think guys took the line with them, too. <laughs> yeah. Can I start digging around behind the bar and see if there's any... Right, can I see if there's any, like, liquor left that we can drink? <laughs> you you go into the bar area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go over there and into that room, and a lot of tables and chairs are overturned. It, the floor is a mess. Kegs are busted open. Bottles are shattered. Oh, shit. Uh, it's gonna be sticky. Yeah, and it looks like <laughs> lots of lots of alcohol and beer were all smashed. And it looks like in each and every one, the remains of the container was still rooted around in. Oh my god! I'm gonna um. <laughs> did, if did anyone follow me or did I go? alone because i mean i wouldn't no, know, I, but did anyone come i would have dealing with you dude it's all gone it's all gone i mean there's some dregs in like shattered bits of glass that i haven't been I'm, there's like little puddles i'm not too. gonna suck glass to try to get drunk <laughs> i'm good <laughs> there's where the line is thank you very much <laughs> look that's I, the line you know what out of respect for butt trumpet i won't say <laughs> I already know what you were going to say, and I appreciate it. I'm not going to say it. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, But there's nothing to drink here. (laughs) Yeah. 
I'm not putting any of this in my mouth. We just, we're going to, ah, butterbeer, dude. Like, maybe, maybe, things. maybe that's where we should start is trying to find butterbeer and find butter free him. He's in, well, if Gaius is have, right, yeah. it sounds like it's our fault. Yeah. I mean, okay, here's the deal. Gaius doesn't need to, like, feel bad about this right now, but, um, it just, see well, it, it, I don't think it's Gaius's fault. All the bad stuff that happened here, like, Butterbeer was very determined that me showing up was like this omen of bad shit for him. Uh, Butterbeer, like he was just like, how come all this fucking shit happens when the, you know, the 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 gnome girl shows up? And, and shit did kind of- I thought the shit was going wrong long before you entered the picture. Shit went, shit went sideways either way. So it's not that it's our fault per se but it's it's almost like the appearance of impropriety if people if the wrong people just knew we were even around that they could assume that he was caught up in whatever they were mad at us about and the people oh the people who wanted the artifact that like broke in and came after us if they were properly connected and they kind mm -hmm. of pinned all of this on Butterbeer. Maybe, maybe they tell us and whoever, that's who they think. Uh, since they couldn't find the artifact and got all super really pissed off about it. Did um, they believe like, they get the artifact? No. No. No, we well, we don't. That, really. we, we didn't give it to her? No, we. I mean, I don't know. I disappeared. I fucking got yeet. I stepped into a, like, so Viv and I were together. Viv and I were together during that mission, and everyone thought it was like, yeah, step on this teleportation portal thing, and I, I did, and I, so I missed like most of it, trying to walk my tiny little ass back to where everybody was. So we don't know if she has it or not. I don't think she does. You didn't give it to Murph. I thought we gave it to Murph. Yeah. Yeah, we gave it to Murph. Who was supposed to handle it, getting to wherever, but. If these uh, you don't, you don't know us, Murph, do you? Viv? Murph, Murph no. is a vampire. Well, he, a vampire. we didn't confirm that he is, but we feel like he might be. He's just an old, smelly guy. She but, only comes out at oh, night. Oh, is that the one that has a thing for tentacles? Yeah. It's just yeah. not to even touch on that. <laughs> so you stole an artifact for a vampire with my evil doppelganger. I gave the artifact to the vampire. Well, when, well, you, when you say it like that. <laughs> yeah. Eldrin Butt Trumpet said that at the exact same time. <laughs> And, and Colin is just bad. like, look, here's, here's the deal. Trying to find people sometimes costs money. I was all in for the money because, yeah, finding my brother has been like a, at this point, she's doing math on her fingers because she's not fucking, you know, like, uh, like, like 35 years, okay, yep. of me looking. I've not seen my brother since I was... 15. So it takes He's been takes the same for that long or you haven't seen him for that long. I haven't seen him for that long. And you're looking for him now. I've been looking for him for that long. For this many years. Yes. As I could afford to either travel or pay people. Um, so you know that his last whereabouts I, was in this town, Seven Rivers? No. Well, I, the last time I saw him, no, was uh, back right when we were still, you know, when my mother disappeared and my father remarried, I was sent away to school. I was sent away to, uh, to, to a mentor that could help me to come to terms with my new life. <clears throat> and my brother, when I came back, to visit my brother. Shit was literally on fire and my brother had disappeared. The reason I was looking here was not that I'd heard my brother was here, but that his mentor was here, that a person he had worked with and studied with was here. I actually received a letter from him uh, that he was in the Eastern districts and I needed to go there. Unfortunately, when we got there, no one had heard of this person ever. 
so here's the problem and this this may be part of the problem now maybe butterbeer is collateral damage of the people that are looking for me there's people looking for you yeah wait why are they looking when for you? I left home. Part of the reason I left, I was getting letters, threatening, threatening, very bad letters to me. I don't know, you know, okay, Reed, because you were there when we were in the Eastern Districts and literally no one had mm -hmm. heard of Grimoire. No one heard of him. People that would know if he were there. So if these people if whomever was threatening me wanted me to actually go there not to look for grimoire not because he was there but because they thought i would die they thought i would go alone obviously i didn't mm -hmm. <laughs> if they're maybe here how long, how long maybe... ago did you how long ago did you find out about grimoire and the, the eastern district thing was the that before last... all this bad stuff sort of? it was that was the reason I was, the, the letters were the reason I was here. That's why I came, uh, you know, unfortunately that's how I ended up partly at the temple, uh, because it's pretty protected, uh, by the people there and it was a paycheck and a place to sleep. Mm -hmm. So I could, I could at least come here and try to see if I could figure anything out. If I could get into the Eastern districts, if I could go on my own, what, that would entail um i realized pretty quick i couldn't do that for obvious and reasons i couldn't even get in mm -hmm. the eastern districts are where the pits were that's yep. that yeah good. yeah that's that was some right, of right next to that probably fire. literally probably literally the single most repulsive thing that i think i've ever seen and mm. I saw, you know, Eldred at the brothel, so that's saying a lot. Hey, <laughs> I represent that, Mark. You mentioned Ventor. I did. I did. What I was, met Grimoire. What was he like? I knew. Oh, Grimoire. Um, he was <clears throat> quite eccentric. He was very, very brilliant. He, I, I think he wanted to be... I should say he, he was smart in his own way, exceptionally eager to learn. Uh, I think part of the reason, you know, he, my mother was a very brilliant, brilliant woman. And I, I think that he aspired to be like her a lot. My mother definitely needed uh, someone to kind of help guide him up. He was very interested in magic and especially after, you know, initially he was just a family and shall we say my uh my father ran an inn in town and he would frequent that for, for drinks and things like that to meet with people so he was a regular you know initially a lot of people assumed that my father was the one who made things happen who had access to the money who handled everything um they learned really quickly after she disappeared that it was actually my mother who was the one handling everything but especially after she disappeared it was very important my father moved on quickly very quickly too quickly <laughs> to a new wife <laughs> i think before we were even comfortable saying that she had disappeared he was remarried he was this woman was in our home and my brother and i were gone i know a little something about that so it was yeah well i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry if you can relate no, at all. It's, it's, i'm sorry to well, grimoire. Grimoire did he mention your fair. brother when, when was the last time your brother was in the eastern districts then i don't know if he ever was the only person that I knew that I was supposed to meet was Grimoire. He said he was there and I could con I could meet him for information. I could meet him to find my brother. And was he helpful? Uh, he wasn't there. No one had even heard of him there, which is why I suspect that maybe he was never, never there and he actually never contacted me. And it was someone just trying to lure me there for whatever reason. I see. Now we're down in Akita because I followed a letter. Well, no, that's, don't blame yourself for that. That's not how that works. Hold on a minute. 
That's not how that works. Intent does matter. All of us have been separated in one way or another from family, from loved ones, from a comfortable environment where we felt safe. And somehow, through whatever terrible circumstances we've all been through, we found each other and that means something. We've lost people and that's awful and it hurts. But that doesn't take away from the fact that we have each other. You guys don't blame me for things that are going wrong in the world, do you? No, no, no but I fucking fault. love you. You're great. And we fucking love you because you're great. <laughs> we fucking love each other because we're great. That's what works so well. We've all, all right. ended up realizing that we're instrumental in something that ended up being greater. That doesn't make us bad people. We just have realized it now. We just realize that these things are happening and they're connected. So we just got to find the connection because I'm sure it goes deeper. But it doesn't mean that we brought pain and suffering to people. We were trying to save them, right? So we're exactly. trying to do the right thing. You want us to be heroes so we can be. Just for one day. You guys are heroes. <laughs> <laughs> I had to bring the tension just a little bit. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Get a little too deep in here. So Calandra's not good with the, like feeling her feelings. So as it starts to get like too feelingy, she's just like, okay. Oh, so none of us are doing that. like a dick or a fart joke, like. <laughs> Then hand yeah, you her water skin so that you can take a drink of water. Oh, I was like, we what? Should, what? We should probably, we should probably check on guys. Yeah, we should probably make sure guys, guys didn't walk into an ambush up there without his armor. Probably or shouldn't. I, I'm be thinking me. maybe we should leave him alone and give him his time. I was like, I'm definitely not his fucking favorite right now. So like. I will concede that. I don't want to disturb can, his like, prayer. Read the fucking room, yeah. Just wait. I just want to make sure he's not dying. Take my foot out just of my mouth. I don't even need to talk to him. I'll just go make sure he's okay. <laughs> just mm. be sneaky, as you are. Got See it. the 30 rock thing and, like, use a broom to pat him on the head from a distance, like, hey, oh, my God. God. No, I will just, um, I'm here. Yeah. Um, be, be very quiet. Oh, dear God. Don't yeah. trip over his fucking armor. No. I left that shit everywhere. Why'd you say? Elder goes, I, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm exhausted. Me too. Yeah, we need Same, fam. I think we can decide finished. a plan no. in the morning. Yeah. Are we... Yeah. Does, do we need to take watch, or are we going to just all crash? Honestly, I don't think anyone's going to come by here. I only need to rest for four hours, but I do know that past me kind of maybe did some traumatic things when she took watch. So I I mm. can 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 Jack take watch? Sort of. Somewhat, alright. That's that's yeah. good enough for me, I think. Um cool. if, like, if nothing to... else I can sit up with Jack and like me and Jack can hang out for four hours or five hours, whatever. Oh. Yeah, yeah, hi Jack. Viv, you totally missed the part where by the way, there's a third floor on this stone throw, first of all. Second of all, all right. Eldred totally crisped the guy up against the wall up there. Oh, yeah. There's probably still a mark on the wall. Like, right. big yeah. yeah. Did he deserve it? A, a bad guy, yes. Oh, yeah, they were, they were trying to kill us. <laughs> okay. All yeah. right. Oh, all right. So after you that, know what? Now, now that I think about it, I think everybody knows that we stay here. Like, everybody. But we haven't in a while. That's true. One night. One night, yeah. We should be able to. I'll, go I'll just to... go check on Guy and make sure he's not being strangled by a horrible creature in his room or something. Uh, you go up to the second floor to what the room that you assume is Gaius is. The door's open, and you mm -hmm. see him sitting on the bed, his head down, his hands kind of clasped, just looking forlorn, sitting on his bed alone. Mm. Oh, a couple touches. You do smell wine <laughs> but you realize that the skins that had them were thrown against the wall and they're just sprayed everywhere I'm not gonna bother okay so uh, is the plan for everyone to basically get some rest 
Yeah, I think that's probably for the so, after today. Well, then that seems like a good place to end it for this evening. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for what has been a rather darker episode of Grognard and Friends, if that's possible. Tune in next week to same Grognard time, same Grognard channel. And please, be kind. Thank you.